Hi, my name is Andrew, and I work on performance observability infrastructure at Cruise Insider Self Driving Cars. At Cruise, our mission is to transform the future of transportation with our all electric self driving vehicles. Today, I'd like to share how we found success leveraging BPF and helping us develop a granular understanding of the behavior of our GPU applications at runtime. Solving this problem with traditional approaches can be challenging, especially so in safety critical production systems. Most third party tools for GPU profiling and tracing are not designed to be run alongside a complex AV stack running in real time with strict performance budgets. High performance overheads and lack of stability guarantees in these types of solutions often completely discount them from consideration for use inside our vehicles. What's more, these tools are often not configurable enough to enable highly custom instrumentation or custom software integration. Finally, another challenge is that these tools often only capture GPU related activities. To paint a full picture of performance and system behavior, we'd want to also be able to capture non-GPU performance events and correlate everything in a unified way. When considering the characteristics of a BPF-based solution instead, we can see that this technology addresses all of these shortcomings mentioned for traditional GPU providers. With all that in mind, let's now take a look at a solution which leverages BPF. Consider an application which uses CUDA for GPU programming. By attaching BPF U probes onto CUDA APIs like CUDA malloc and CUDA memcopy, we can capture information about GPU memory allocations and data transfers, respectively. BPF enables us to get contextual information about these events when they occur. By capturing process ID and name, thread ID, and a stack trace, we can attribute these events to specific components in our stack, as well as specific code paths. Furthermore, by examining the contents of registers when these U-probes are hit, we can grab the allocation size or transfer size used. With all this data, we can generate powerful visualizations that can point us to potential areas of optimization in our code. With flame graphs, we can identify which components or code paths in our stack are allocating the most GPU memory, or for example, which ones are spending the most time allocating memory. With heat maps, we can identify bad GPU memory allocation patterns, for example, frequent and small allocations, which could contribute to memory fragmentation, or recurring dynamic allocations after stack initialization, which are expensive and necessary to avoid due to real-time requirements in our stack. By leveraging temporal data we get from BPF, we can also generate timeline use. Feeding data we capture from CUDA memcopy into these visualizations can give us an idea about PCIe bus contention in heterogeneous compute environments. Let's take a look at some slightly more advanced use cases as well. By using the CUDA host alloc API to allocate pen memory on the host rather than pageable memory, we can avoid one extra hop when subsequently transferring this data to the GPU over the PCIe bus. By attaching a BPF U probe onto CUDA host alloc, we can capture and store pinned memory addresses for later comparison when performing data transfers to the GPU. Thus, we are able to identify which, if any, data transfers were made suboptimally. Another feature of CUDA is the unified memory system, which enables for greater memory flexibility in CUDA applications. With this flexibility, however, comes a trade off which results in poorer performance guarantees. And while there are solutions where unified memory is advantageous to use, we don't want to use this in the vehicle due to real-time performance constraints. To guarantee this, we can attach a simple no-op U probe onto the CUDA malloc managed API to catch any usage of the system at runtime. In CUDA programming, another bad practice is to queue work onto the default CUDA stream, which is inherently synchronous with all other CUDA streams. Once again, we're able to leverage BPF U probes to catch behaviors that are not suitable for real-time execution in our AVs. We can see in these examples that with BPF, we're able to build systems that give us stronger guarantees about the runtime behavior of our GPU workloads in the car. This has immensely positive implications, not only on the performance attributes of our AV software stack, but on the safety of our vehicles as well. If you're interested in working on performance problems in self-driving cars, please send me an email and check out getcruise.com. Thank you.